All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back to uh, another episode of Best Brew Ever. Um, this continuing the, um, the back to basics, the base malt um, experiments that I've been doing. Um, this is the third one so far. Um, I think I did the Marisotter Northwest Pale Malt, I believe. And this one is Sugar Creek Ye Old Pale Malt, I believe that is. And um, all of them I did is eight and a half pounds of uh, grain um, with uh, the California Common or California Lager Yeast um, and Nugget Hops, uh, ounce of Nugget. I, generally most of them were fermented at the same temperature um, this one started off you know I did uh, two week fermentations and then kegged it um, or on most of them this one uh, stayed in the fermenter a little bit longer just because I had another beer on tap and um, I just didn't it took a little longer to drink that one I had other stuff going on um, so this one stayed a little bit longer in the uh, fermenter and I thought that was gonna make a big difference um, it was like an extra week so it was like three weeks maybe a little bit more a little, little bit over three weeks but um, so as soon as I you know, I kegged it and you know, usually I'll, I'll taste them as soon as I keg them yeah, you know, even if they're not cold, because you know you kind of get like a better flavor pro profile when they're not cold. And um, I was like, man, this is really not what I was expecting. It wasn't very malty, but um, it had a almost like a, a peppery flavor to it. It was definitely some sort of spice type flavor, um, and maybe. That could have been from the uh, the the yeast because it did you know um, start to get warmer and I don't I can't cool off this room um, where I, I'm fermenting them and so with the other two the weather was kind of consistent and it stayed like a consistent temperature around 65 back here this time I kind of got you know the temperatures ramped up a little bit more than I would have wanted um, it stayed at 65 for maybe a couple maybe two weeks but um but then it got ramped up and um so i don't know if that had anything to do with you know that peppery flavor that might have been did something to the yeast i don't know um but you know i left it in the uh keg it cooled off you know conditioned a little bit and i came back and Drank it, drank it, and little by little, different you know, days, and you know, had different fla flavor profiles. Um, I kept that kind of pepper, pepperiness for a couple days, and kind of had like a little bit. It tasted really, it tasted young, it tasted really young, um, which I didn't get with any of the other uh, malts. Uh, and even that I had, uh, fermented this one longer, it had like a young. Uh, that kind of that green flavor to it um, but after a while that all settled out and it turned into a actually a nice uh, tasting beer there it is right here and it cleared up pretty good gotta see me through there um, yeah it cleared up pretty good and uh, that's a nice flavor to it it's it's really clean, it's got a slight dryness to it. Um, with that um, California common yeast, um, I think it kind of, you know, obviously that is going to give it a more of a crisp flavor than a, that more of the ale flavor. So. It's very drinkable. Um, my dad came over. I gave him a couple. This is actually the the last of it. That's why I had to, I had to make the video right now. So this is actually the last of 
the uh, Sugar Creek Ye old Pale Malt. And what do I think about it? I mean, it's it's definitely good to drink just like this. Um, it doesn't really impart a lot of complex flavors. Um, it's kind of described as a, a older English malt um, flavor and I mean it's not bad at all like I said you can just drink it like this I you know it whatever kind of beer you would to make with this um, I think it just anything would be fine with it because it's doesn't have any overpowering characteristics it just a base malt I mean it's just neutral it's clean um, so you can kind of anything else you put in there would would kind of pop in that beer you know it would just any other flavors would kind of stand out without you know this base malt overpowering it um, oh, I lose that that peppery flavor is gone and it but it in and on its own it Tastes like a kind of like a pilsner type. Um, very easy drinking. Um, it, this is great, you know. That's why it's it's gone. Um, it's been warm out and it's been great, you know. We cooked out over the weekend, and I was drinking plenty of these and with no problem. I really don't know what the um, the ABV that you know would doing. Uh, this kind of experiment it would make total sense to write everything down and I didn't take any of the ABV or any of the uh, the gravity or bricks or anything like that on them so I was just being lazy um, but this one just on based on how I feel when I drink them um, doesn't feel like it has a ton of alcohol in it it's pretty easy drinking and you know you can have you know a number of these without getting bombed um, I feel like maybe maybe the Maris Otter might have had more alcohol in it um, I really can't remember at this point but I would I would use it again I, I think in it itself this is pretty good beer. I mean, the Maris Otter had its own thing. It was more malt forward and had that characteristic. The, um, I think it was the Northwest Pale. Really didn't have anything. Um, it's kind of, maybe it was because that was after the Maris Otter, that malt forward beer with the Northwest was kind of watered down, I guess. Uh, not, you know, very neutral. As this is too, but this one, this, by itself and I'm saying with that probably with that uh, California common yeast um, gives you like that light lager flavor you know it's anything you would it's definitely something feels like something you could buy um, commercially but with this a little more flavor to it just a little more backbone to it. It's not. It's not, you know, water. It's refreshing. I'd make it again. You know, um, I don't. Like I said, with the uh, Maris Otter, I could see it kind of imparting more flavor into a beer, where you would want more malt or or something like that. Um, this one it's very neutral and like I'm saying it could pretty much uh, just bump up the the um, ABV on a beer and not really overpower anything else you're trying to do with it um, but I would definitely drink it like this again maybe even, um, try different hops in there you know there's a lot of things for the future um, but this is uh, 
kind of the experiment for me, for me to learn, and for anybody else watching and wants to learn, um, you know, through the things that I'm doing. Um, you know, I'm not a beer, a brewing expert. I'm still learning as I go. I've been doing this for a number of years, but there's so much to learn. Um, there's so many different varieties of hops and yeast and, and grains that um, it's going to take a while, but I have no problem with that. Um, I maybe have to take a break um, from brewing for a little bit. Um, kind of having some medical issues and uh, uh, of course uh, with the medical issues doctor's visits funds gotta go you know where I gotta put them so uh, I might be a while a little while hopefully only hopefully a little while um, before I can brew again and this unfortunately is the last of my home brew I have nothing in my my fermenters so I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to buy some store bought, which sucks. But um, I was on a run. It was fun. Um, but don't, you know, make sure you uh, subscribe and and click the bell so uh, when I do come back, um, you can see you know the the new ideas, the things I got going on. And I know I've just kind of showed, kind of reviewed these. Um, base malt beers and I'm going to continue with some of those uh, but I think yeah, I'll probably show a little more of the brewing process on the um, got the Brewer's Edge mash and boil um, seems like a lot of you guys liked um, when I, the episode when I brewed on that um, so I think I'll do some more uh, show some more brewing on there I kind of didn't really want to show a whole lot of the brewing process just so I could cut down on on video time um, I just wanted to kind of make it about the flavors of the of the malts um, but when I do um, get some more time some more funds get some more uh, beers going I'll, I'll show some more brewing process because I know that that is you know if you're in the the hobby you like to see that kind of stuff so um, yeah I'll do I'll do some more like that and you know it's warmer out so uh, maybe I'll get the uh, the, the keggel going and uh, brew old, you know, well, old fashioned for me, old fashioned style on the uh, the burner and, and keggel outside. And uh, maybe I'll get some double batches going. I don't know. I'll get the the mash and boil going. I'll get the keggel going. Uh, we'll just see. Hopefully I can return before the summer's over. Um, I got a lot of things going on, but. Um, I appreciate uh, the new subscribers and uh, everybody who's watching the videos. Thank you a lot. And this one's to you guys. Thanks for watching.